Hi friends. Welcome back to Wild Care. It's Friday afternoon and today is enrichment day for Cash the acorn woodpecker. So as we know Cash is a little unpredictable so we're not quite sure what's going to happen today but Melissa our ambassador program manager has put some really cool things into his enclosure. You want to tell us what you did today Melissa? Sure. Um, so today I um put up his new box and I got that from the Hungry Owl Project, which is great. Awesome. Painted it and put that on there. All right, the and woodpecker now, is on my arm. Oh, he's investigating. <laughs> Just try to give him a little something there. Um, and um, so anyway, and I put it up there and he's been investigating it. There you go, buddy. Where are you going to go with that? Gonna give him an acorn. Let's there see what go. he's going to do. Excellent. Yes. So he's been investigating that. And also he's, uh, I put in a, um, a fountain here. Well, he has his fountain, but we've just been turning it on. Um, so he's been trying to take a bath in that. And you said he likes it, right? He does. Oh yeah. Let's so, see what he thinks of this. Yeah. There are so, lots of exciting things happening yes, in there, the enclosure today. There are lots of exciting things. And you know, I mean, we've got to keep them busy during this time as well. So enrichment can be, um, um, just like with Vlad, it can be mental stimulation, something physical, um, and uh, we try to give them both, or as much as we can here. Let me just try to see if you can see what he's going to think about my keys over there. Let's see. What you doing down here, Cash? Oh, oh he's investigating the extension cord, which is a yeah, little bit which, of a terrifying yeah, thought. Yeah. Let's check out those keys, Cash. Yeah. So remember, everybody, this is uh, one of our educational animals at Wild Care. Of course, this is not one of our wildlife patients. Mm -hmm. Tell us, I can't. Re how did Cash come in? So Cash came in um, in 2012, and what had happened was uh, either a rescue or somebody had him as a pet, which is something that can happen to them. Um, and it's uh, landing on the wall behind yes, us. <laughs> so, and you can't. Um, them as, <laughs> or <laughs> as pets and so uh, Fish and Wildlife actually seized him and brought him um, to oh, us God. and the important thing is so in the wild these guys live in groups of a dozen or more um, they have to be returned to their colony within 30 days oh interesting um, and if they're not they're seen as an outsider and the right and they're very them. colony mm -hmm. oriented very. very family oriented and there's there's not room for a strange woodpecker in a wood acorn woodpecker colony so no, yeah no and uh, they're very social in fact I was just reading that they are one of the longest studies of uh, social groups of birds oh that's interesting interesting and um, so they can have anywhere from three to six eggs and they can do that once or twice a year okay um, and usually their uh, diameter of the tree that they nest that they build in <laughs> is about six inches uh, wide and about two feet deep <laughs> he is lots going on today lots going on today <laughs> very overwhelmed uh, or he's got a lot going nope. on here oh, yep, yep. <laughs> um, so yeah. So anyway, they um, they, they <laughs> Heather raise... says, "I hope you have your cash-proof PPE on." Yeah, yeah sure. I got glasses on. That's that's yeah, the I got important glasses thing. On, which is the important thing. Let's see. Here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's got lots going on. Again, it's spring to sprung here, so there's a lot going on for him. <laughs> um, so we give him try him on some acorns. How about yeah. the chili? Huh? Yeah. You got nope. that. There we go. Let's fly up and do one of those. Yeah. So Cash was, uh, you said, tamed by a person that found right. him, correct? Yes. Right. Yeah. So, so he was not able to be returned to his colony. <laughs> no. He's uh, quite animated. Um, he is. Uh, but that's okay. That's Cash. Uh, you know, definitely work, when you work with wild animals, either you, uh, sometimes you just, they just have different days and different moods just like we do. They do. Absolutely. Here's our buddy here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I love Melissa the things that you do to make the enclosures and the lives of our educational animals interesting. Yeah, I've I've been pretty resourceful lately in recycling a lot of materials that we had on site and going through a lot of different paints and everything and trying to figure out. I'm taking this time really to see what we can projects that we can work on for them. 
um, enrich their lives and then once we're ready to start seeing visitors and everything they'll have like a little different view of everybody sure so, so this is a new box for him this is a new box yeah. so is um, it a screech owl house is that what it is from the yes, hungry owl project it is it is it is and so um he'll go in there and i guess the way that they line their nests is they actually hammer on the inside and the sawdust oh interesting actually, um, um lines the nest there oh that's probably yeah. makes it very soft. I've actually seen woodpeckers come in and they've they've been covered in sawdust like that. That actually makes sense that that would be how they'd line their nest. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we talked about this last time, the way that he's a male is um, his coloring. So the females actually have a headband in between yeah. that yellow and that red on them. Yeah, so when you see a group of acorn woodpeckers, you can tell the girls from the voice because the girls wear headbands. Yes, the girls wear headbands. That's how I always... Once we get a closer look at his little face, you might be able to see him now. His his beak goes into the yellowish white, and then mm -hmm. it goes directly into the red. <laughs> yeah, so he's landing right behind us, just for everybody to know. Right? Yep. He keeps landing here on the... Um, oh, <laughs> and sometimes fencing. he lands on us, yes. <laughs> he's landing on the fencing there, and... Um, everybody. <laughs> so he's just a very uh, so the male guy. acorn woodpecker will go from the beak to the whitish yellow yep. and then he will go to that red and then the female has a whitish yellow and then she goes into a black band and then she goes into the red so you can tell the females again because they have those those headbands on there you go. Very <laughs> maneuverable. Yep, they're excellent flyers. They're uh, sort of oak woodland habitat, yes? Yep, yep, definitely. Um, eats uh, pecans, uh, walnuts, almonds, uh, acorns, of course. They also eat a lot of different insects. And um, we have some uh, <laughs> strawberry jelly down here that he doesn't seem to be too, too interested too in. Too excited but I, yeah, about it. I think um, he's just really excited to have people in his enclosure. Yeah, you know, he's probably one of the ones here where, when people visit, he really enjoys a lot of uh, human interaction. It's kind of his, his time to show off and show all the different things that he can do. Right. Uh, Lily writes, did you know that acorn woodpeckers are considered as communists? Come from, it comes from a paper written in 1925 mm -hmm. titled, oh, I'm having a hard time reading it. Uh, California woodpeckers are communists due to their communal lifestyles. Oh, yes, no. and she's put the link on, so everybody nice. watching this can come back and uh, you could read that article because Lily has put the link on. That's really interesting. That's so funny. Yeah, they're definitely uh, they definitely live in communes. They're yep. definitely communal birds, and you know, Cash's situation is 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 a sad one because yeah. he. Um, would be normally part oh hello yes on my phone uh normally would be part of a a woodpecker commune and instead he is here as a permanent resident which is is great for us because he's so interesting and educational but he would is not able to do all of the things that a, a, yeah. a normal acorn woodpecker would be able to do yeah so his lifespan <laughs> would be definitely different and um it would be shorter it, yes it would be shorter but it would be more communal more social um I believe one time we actually had a, we had a couple of woodpeckers. We did, yeah. When I started at Wild Care, Blue and Sky were both here, and Blue was another one that had been tamed. Sorry, the light's a little hard with him up here. Uh, and then uh, Sky was a uh, an injured bird that came in, and they lived for a long time here at Wild Care, and I think the two of them did well together. Um, I don't know how Cash would do with <laughs> with another woodpecker. I think yeah, he... Yeah, you know, he's pretty... Um... What do I want to say? He's very uh, determined. He's and very oriented toward yeah, humans at this point yeah. because he had been tamed. Um, so I'm not really quite sure, you know, that would be the risk that we would run if we um, did have a different um, woodpecker is, would they get along? Exactly. Um, you know, their safety is our, our first concern. Right. And um, that tongue there on the woodpecker <laughs> is really long. And the reason why they don't um, hurt themselves when they um, are pecking at like one of those holes over there is because the tongue actually goes all the way around the brain and it holds in the brain like a seatbelt. That's What's so interesting. really neat too is if you get a close-up of the tongue, um, it actually has um, <laughs> little tiny little feelers on it. Little barbs on it. Oh, isn't that interesting? And that's for actually getting the mm -hmm. insects out, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's an amazing little guy. Yeah. Well, this has been a slightly disorganized live stream yeah. today. I think we're going to let Cash... <laughs> I think we're going to let Cash have his enclosure here and let him explore the interesting things that he has going on. And we're going to say 
goodbye to everybody. We don't do our live streams on weekends, so we won't see you again until Monday, but we'll have something awesome on Monday. And we're grateful to everybody for joining us. Don't forget to visit us online at discoverwildcare.org. Of course, you can donate there as well to help us care for our injured and orphaned animals as well as our educational animals like Cash. And we're so grateful to everyone for joining us. Stay well, stay healthy. <laughs> End up with a woodpecker on my phone. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.